What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we are here in Hurricane. We are visiting the bike shop over the edge out here. They are a uh, really awesome shop that can be found in most popular mountain bike destinations. So like I said, we're at the Hurricane location and before we check out the trails, we actually want to check in with the riders and see what bikes they're riding because a lot of times you can figure out what the perfect bike is for the terrain by asking the local bike shop employees. So we're gonna check in with the crew, see what everyone's riding. And so this is Bike Checks of Over the Edge Hurricane. Let's check it out. Phew. Hi, my name is Boston, here at Over the Edge Utah. This is where I work. And this is my Rocky Mountain Slayer. It's a pretty sweet bike. I've got the Magura brakes on here, super sweet. Lots of stopping power. Got also the DD bar and stem, making it look pretty sweet. Super sick bike, rides super great, great for downhill, and it pedals really great for being a long travel bike. These are the Magura race lines. These ones have the metal lever, and it makes them so much more sturdy, and the stopping power is insane. My name is Sanchez Hubbard, and I work here at Over the Edge in uh, Hurricane Utah. And this is my bike check. So this is my bike, the Rocky Mountain Slayer. I chose this bike because it's a everything bike. You can do it all on this bike. And I have it set up for how I like to ride. Wrap my bars around and a tiny little sprocket so I don't hit stuff. Carbon wheels and a killer suspension setup because I need something to help me out of trouble when I'm in trouble sometimes. <laughs> Hey, this is Jordan. I work here at Over the Edge in Hurricane Utah. Uh, this is my Noli Warden. So I just this is I just built it up this summer using parts that I could get my hands on during COVID. Yeah, I've got the high, the Industry Nine Hydro Rear Hub, uh, DVO fork, reverb dropper, and then Deity parts to top it off. And the fa fabric saddle just because I wanted to try something new and it turns out it's really comfy. I've been a big fan of Noli bikes. I feel like their suspension design is really good. It's one of the best out there for traction, uh, especially when you're braking or under pedaling torque. I sat around and drank whiskey with the owner of the company. So. Hey, I'm Mike. I'm the founder of Club Ride Apparel. And I'm here today with my, my yeah. brand new Ibis HD5. Um, I had my first ride on this bike today and I am like super super stoked um, about how this came out. So first of all like I've had a lot of Ibis bikes. I had um, way back when a original um, Ibis Mojo steel hardtail um, bike with the hand job rear end that was super cool. Um, that turned into a single speed. Um, I had the the first sort of like swoopy bike they came out with actually very close to this color a little bit darker. Um, anyway I've had like Five different Ibis throughout the years, and this is my this is my latest. I just got rid of my Ibis Ripley, and now I'm on the HD5. So anyway, I wanted to go back to the 27.5 um, wheel tire. I, it's just better for my body frame size. I'm 5'7", and I can control it a little bit nicer. Plus, you know, the 170 front end on this is just super super stout and really amazing. All right, my name is Quentin. I'm the owner of Over the Edge Sports here in Hurricane Utah. This is my Noli. Well, this is my murder bike. This is uh, it's an Oli, kind of built up like a Warden. Uh, went with the uh, RockShox Lyric. Got the, the Axis drivetrain on there with the Axis post. I uh, love the, the quick responsiveness there. Um, the RockShox fork, the DBO coil rear shock has been sweet. I went with the Magura MT7s. Can't go wrong with the Maguras. You'll see those on a lot of the bikes on the, the, here in the shop. And uh, DD, DD setup, saddle bars, grips. Uh, and it's set up just the just the way I like it. Yo, I'm uh, Ren Dutton. I work here at Over the Edge Hurricane. This is my evil following. Got all the DD bits. Nice pretty colors. The DVO Diamond in green looking sexy. Got the Revel carbon rims. Light laced up to the Onyx hubs. Got some uh, TRP derailleur and shifter back there. The new Fox transfer dropper post. And uh, that's pretty much it. Building up this bike, I wanted something a little bit lighter, more cross country, shorter, uh, shorter travel, a little bit more playful. I like how progressive the evils are because uh, pop off stuff real easy, take heavy landings no problem. Even though it's only 120, and then I'm running 140 in the front. But uh, other than that, runs great. 
Hi, my name is Chelsea Kimball. I am from down by the river. This is the Specialized Enduro. Chose this bike over a different one because I wanted a long travel trail bike. I figured, why not have a mini downhill bike every time I ride? It sounded awesome. Uh, for the components, I have a DVO Onyx fork up front, blue, good color to go with. I got some reverse components, uh, bits, got the grips, some bars, stem, seat. Uh, I went with the TRP derailleur. I love their 12-speed derailleur. Uh, hasn't failed me yet. Uh, always go with Maxxis tires, Askai, front and back on this one. And uh, the color, my favorite. Specialized really won with this one.